యుఎస్ఏ నుంచి విచ్చేశారు డాక్టర్ సురపనేని పద్మజ గారు ప్రపంచ ప్రఖ్యాత హార్వర్డ్ మెడికల్ స్కూల్లో రేడియాలజీ ఇన్స్ట్రక్టర్ డాక్టర్ సురపనేని పద్మజ గారు వృత్తిలో ధ్యానంలో రెండిటిలో కూడా త్రికరణ శుద్ధిగా విలీనమవుతూ ఎంతోమందికి స్ఫూర్తిగా నిలుస్తున్నారు పద్మజ గారు వారికి సాదర స్వాగతం పలుకుతున్నాం ఓం సుషుమ్న ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ మై హంబుల్ ప్రణామ్స్ టు పరమ గురు శ్రీ 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 భోగనాథ సిద్ధర్ గారు శ్రీ 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 మహావతార్ బాబాజీ గారు అండ్ పూజ్య శ్రీ ఆత్మానందమయ్య అమ్మ గారు అండ్ ఐ రెండర్ మై సిన్సియర్ గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ ఫర్ గివింగ్ మీ ద ఆపర్చునిటీ టు షేర్ మై ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ విత్ సుషుమ్న ప్రియా యోగా మెడిటేషన్ అండ్ శృతికీర్తి సైడ్ ఐఎమ్ పద్మజ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ గుంటూర్ ఒరిజినలీ బట్ కరెంట్లీ రిసైడింగ్ ఇన్ యుఎస్ఏ మై జర్నీ విత్ సుషుమ్న క్రియా యోగా మెడిటేషన్ స్టార్ట్ exactly 2 years ago on march 11 2021 on the auspicious day of mahashivaratri since i started it has been nothing a remarkable and a wonderful journey so far i totally believe guru shows me and guided me into this pathway and i would like to say a few words how i got here i don't know much rituals or puja since my childhood the only thing i know is shirdi sai baba because my mother is a strong devotee so i just and it's easy god so he doesn't need any rituals so i just do parayana i used to do shirdi sai baba parayana guru charitra parayana and i read lot of avadhuta books written by ekral bharadwaj garu before i got married after i got married i moved to usa and i just got busy with my high demanding professional and like family life and until 2017 i was struggling i shouldn't say struggling and i'm finding happiness with the goals sirish garu mentioned on his initial slide so like lot of wishes like it's never ending until 2017 i did parayana but just for my wish if i need something to be fulfilled i just do one week of parayana if it gets fulfilled i'm happy if not i used to fight with him <laughs> Shirdi Sai Baba because he's everything to me. He's a friend, father and a guide to me. So in 2017, suddenly I thought, I said, I'm just tired of this. Getting happiness for all these goals, which is never ending. Like kids, family, everything. I'm just keep asking and if I don't get it, I'm getting upset. So I started, I said, I need a pause and just, I need to rethink about what exactly I want. So I started finding the ways. that can keep me calm peaceful and give me happiness irrespective of what is happening in my physical life so i started exploring and and i don't know any other anchor so i started again doing this time without any expectations or any desires to be fulfilled i started parayana shirdi sai baba parayana guru charitra i even did 7 weeks starting from 2017 to 2019 every 7 weeks i starts with dat charitra ending with puttapati sai baba charitra so i did vigorously 2 years and i'm getting little bit of clarity what exactly i want i'm looking for an anchor and a living guru because as you all know nirguna swarupa and saguna swarupa as we are in physical form we totally attract and believe in guru who is in physical form so when i was doing this parayana this time i never noticed for before i was concentrating or focusing more on the devotees that were with the living gurus that time so i was feeling why i am not born during that time when was there is a guru so i started whether you guys believe or not i started googling are there any living gurus i can connect with so and also i heard of mahavatar baba ji garu on one of the charitra sri pad vallabha who is the first incarnation of dattatreya and there he mentioned i came few thousand years back as mahavatar baba ji that is the first time i heard about mahavatar baba ji so and so i started different meditating meditating techniques including everything available out there but i found little bit peace but i couldn't continue or connect to anything for longer time so i i think 2 years passed by and 2020 before the pandemic started in march on march 1st i came to shirdi just to visit shirdi i went to ramana maharshi arunachalam i did good guru pradikshina 
and I went back to USA. I'm just, now I get more clarity what exactly I'm looking for. I need a living guru who is in physical form so I can lean on him or her. I don't know about that time. So I went back and I heard from one of the friend about the Kriya Yoga introduced to the West by Paramahamsa Yogananda. So I started and jo enrolled in self-realization program, which is a four-step process from California. I got initiated, I finished the first step. I, I practiced for six months, which is a very long process. It's a three-hour Kriya process, which was okay for a while, but after that, I don't have that much time to spend. So my search again started, it's like, one day I came across the video of Amagaru, Saim Sandha Meditation. I opened the video, but I said, and I just closed in few minutes, I couldn't connect. So as you all know, once you start opening up a video, the relative videos keeps popping up on your history. That maybe one or two days after I came across Dr. Madhushri Garu interview, explaining about her son's Tejas experience in Kutralam Guru Purnima. Then I said, okay, I can try. And maybe two days after, I saw Amagaru's interviews by Shrutakirti Garu. And believe it or not, I have never seen or heard of Amagaru or Shushumna Kriya Yoga Meditation. But as soon as I started the video with her divine voice and her gracious smell, I couldn't stop watching the video until I finished. While I was watching the video, my daughter was passing by and he said, how can a person be so peaceful after looking at Amagaru? She commented that I still remember that. So at the end of the video, I decided, okay, I tried so many techniques. Why can't I try this? And just, I want to take it as a challenge, practicing for 49 minutes per 49 days. So I took, and I was, um, I contacted foundation and I was directed to Sri Shigaru from Florida, who guided me the process, and she told me how to initiate on a weekend. But I waited for one week, if I remember right, because the Mahashivaratri is on March 11th. I said, why don't I start from that day? So I took initiation on Mahashivaratri day, and I started my journey. And for first few days, it's very hard to sit that long, but I didn't open my eyes. After five minutes, I just want to open my eyes, but I said no. Even I think so many things, I just want to keep my eyes closed and waited for 49 minutes. And I have few moments of unexplainable happiness and joy now and then, which I have never experienced in my life before. And I, you have to experience that. So I said, okay, I don't want to lose, lose those moments. So I started continuing that. 24 days went very smoothly. On 25th day, with no accident or nothing, nothing happened. Suddenly, it's a freaky accident. I got a ball hit to my head, and I had a severe concussion, which took me six months to recover. But I never gave up. I mean, next, from next day, I couldn't go to work. And as a radiologist, I have to do with the computers. So I couldn't go to work for one month. I have to stay home. But somehow in the past, if I don't have my wish fulfilled through Sai Baba, I used to fight with him. I won't do Parayan anymore, and I'm done with you. But this time, I didn't feel that. I thought, oh, maybe something big has to happen. It had ended up with concussion. It might have been worse. So I, I just continued, and I don't have, I have a little bit of headache and all the concussion symptoms, but I was able to sit 49 minutes without any break. As with any other injury, I can spend time for one month at home watching TV, but this is, I can't even watch TV or do anything. I said, okay, I heard about autobiography of a yogi. I said, why can't I take, take this advantage of this time? So I got the audio version. I finished autobiography of a yogi. And I watched pretty much whatever the available videos available that time through Divya Babaji Shushumna Kriya Yoga. And I was able to go back to work after one month, but I was completed by 49 days, and I keep on going. So in July, Amagaru does detox program before the Guru Purnima, which is a 49-day detox. So I got the WhatsApp, the process of how to do the detox program, and that is the time I was slowly returning to work by July, slowly increasing hour by hour, and I started taking calls. So after two days, 
and the first day of detox program fall onto my the week week of call. So I have I like I have my call ends at midnight. So by the time I go to bed at two, and then I have to wake up at six thirty because we have to do the concussion and the ritual. What Amagaru said to do that day. First two days it's very hard waking up like sleeping at two and waking up at six o'clock. And that third day I said I was just literally crying. I mean. It just tears are flowing. I said, I don't know how to do this, but I want to do this. And I went to bed. And that night I got a dream. It was a big playground, and uh, I was standing with few devo few wallet, like devotees, which I know through the YouTube videos, which I haven't met anyone. And um, there was a big stage far in the ground, and Amagaru was sitting on the stage with few kids talking to them. And just I ran, went to her. She didn't even utter a word. She just saw, look at me, took, hugged me, and then pat on my back. That's it. I can still feel her touch. So, and that is the assurance she gave me, you can do it. From next day onwards, you believe or not, even three hours of sleep, I woke up at 6.30, I did my meditation, and I didn't go back to sleep because I didn't have, and that is an instant energy. Amagaru used to say instant coffee, like instant energy it gives you. That is the biggest example. That whole month, I slept maybe only three, four hours because of concussion symptoms or my work schedule. But I was able to continue my day and finish my 49 days of detox program without any break. After that, I have so many little bit of experiences, not out of the world, but I have every experience I can say. And in 2022, I got the opportunity to go to Palani Guru Purnima program with Amagaru's Grace. And I came just for the Palani program from US. Since I landed, until I came back to Chennai again, I don't know how to explain. I was taken care of. I don't know by who I was taken care of every moment. I don't know the language in Tamil Nadu. I don't know any of the volunteers are Sushimna Kriya Yoga practitioners, except Sri Shegaru talking on the phone. I never met anyone. Since I got out of the train, it was, it, I was taken care of. I don't know how to explain. Everyone helped me. I went to the hotel, and I was able to check in. And they said, your name is not on the list in this hotel. And I checked two other hotels. My name was not there. I said, OK. And I contacted Sri Shegaru. And she said, someone will come soon and help you. And I was relaxing in the lobby. Previously, I used to get upset. I came that, from that far, and why is this happening? But this time, I was just nothing, no thinking. I was just relaxing in the sofa. Then suddenly, I was just looking at my phone, and I, I, I can see from the corner of my eye, three people were entering the lobby. I just looked at up, and I can't believe it. it's Amagaru along with Prashant Amagaru and Vamsi Garu entering the hotel lobby. And she was looking at me and passed by and went upstairs through the lip. I can't explain. So maybe this is the reason I was stuck here, so I can visit Amagaru there. And for the first time, I heard Amagaru met all the NRIs on the Guru Purnima Homam Day. And we got to share our experiences. And I had the chance of watching the Homam along with Amagaru. I don't know how to put into words, but it's unexplainable thing. So these are the few experiences I had and what are the changes that I had seen practicing Sushimna Kriya Yoga. I don't have any more why me moments. Previously in the past, before two years back, if something is not happening in my life, I used to question, why me? Why me? I, I do all these parayanas, nake indu kila utundi, nake indu. If something happens, or any incident happens, I think one of my karma is down. I can tick mark one is down. I'm down with one karma. So that is what I'm saying. So now I feel happy. OK, something is happening. It's fine. Amagaru is there. I don't even ask like before. Um, like if something happens, OK, I go to Shai Baba and used to cry. and I go, but no more, nothing. I'm not doing anything. I just just pass it by, and then I'm fl going out with flying colors. The other one is introspection. I used to do initially once a day, as Amagaru said, but I have not like very often, I can say. But without my notice, 
Gradually, I started introspecting myself every moment, not just for 10 minutes at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day. I do every moment what I do, what I talk to the people. I just pause for one second. Am I talking right? Am I taking this step right? That is what I am doing. And one more thing, uh, at the beginning of every meditation session, Amagaru says, sorry, do sankalpa. Everyone should be healthy, happy, energetic, and peaceful. And also, I was told, you can tell whatever sankalpa you have that day. Initially, I started the same, OK, whatever wish I have that week or that month, I start with that. After a few months passed by, I was doing the sankalpa one day, and then I said, wait a minute. Amagaru is saying everyone should be happy. In that everyone, it includes me and my family, right? Why I'm asking again separately and doing this sankalpa? So I stopped doing that sankalpa, so no asking, nothing. I'm just doing that 49 minutes, if not possible, at least 21 minutes. Um, so I urge everyone here, um, what I believe is Gurus chose you. There are so many people out there in Bhimavaram. Everyone saw the poster. Everyone saw the advertisement. But not everyone is here, right? So Gurus chose you. Maybe half of your karmas are gone. That's why you're here. From here onwards, it is your duty to take from here and whatever you want. So the other thing is, um, as I said, Manatilgu um, Adan, at least I can talk about the Telugu people. So, mana Telugu ada under kok apa apa hana cuci, eda nana cuci, diana mungkin meditation gani ante asli edo kasta lu, edo aipo tuh nde berlaki, like pote yang ki edo waisai po ini, edo pichek kini an kuntam. That is not right. I think it should be started from the beginning, and we have a lot of educators here. I encourage them to encourage the kids to start in their educational institutions right from the beginning. It's like part, and we give cell phone for the first year, the baby, first baby, to eat the food. Why can't we give 21 minutes, or at least 14 minutes of this to them? It's a big gift for them we are giving. And as you all know, the mental health issues, emotional issues have increased 40% in the USA because of the coronavirus, and even in India, but we don't come forward with those issues. And there are a lot of studies, as Siddhi Shagaru mentioned, in USA. I think they are getting more aware of these techniques than we are, which we got anciently. And from Amagaru, it is free. So I don't know why we are not utilizing that. And every week, there is one scientific study coming out in US from big universities like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, regarding the effects of meditation on the brain and how it is helping you. So please, I urge everyone here, please make sure you give your 21 minutes just for yourself. You don't need to ask for anything for your family or for yourself, just for your peace. Give 21 minutes at least, and don't say you don't have that 21 minutes. Everyone has that 21 minutes in their life, or at least 14 minutes, start with 14 minutes. That's all I can say. <laughs> I hope, thanks for being patient with me, and I hope I conveyed what I'm supposed to. Mangalam, Nitya Shiva Mangalam. <laughs>